world is changing. Bigger missiles, different missiles. Precision gunfire support. We move into the future. Railgun, solid state laser. Lasers, railgun. Megawatts of power at your fingertips. Initially developed for literal combat, the Zumwalt class warship was equipped with an artillery system capable of launching 155 mm guided shells up to 60 nautical miles, 111 kilometers. However, the steep cost of these shells, estimated at $800,000 each, led to a drastic reduction in the fleet size from 32 planned ships to just three. The 14,500 ton vessel can be armed with a variety of missiles including the standard missile 2-block 3AZ, the evolved Sea Sparrow surface-to-air missile, and Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles. The Zumwalt has now been fitted with hypersonic missile launchers, transforming what was once seen as an expensive misstep into a formidable naval weapon. The U.S. Navy is integrating its first ship-based hypersonic weapon system aboard the Stealth Destroyer, marking a significant leap in military capability. While the U.S. has been developing hypersonic technology for over 20 years, recent advances by Russia and China have increased the urgency to accelerate production. Hypersonic weapons travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, while maintaining high maneuverability making them extremely difficult to hit. Lanzador cargado código correcto. Lanzador asignado, sincronizado, ready to fight. One of the key systems being installed on the Zumwalt is the conventional prompt strike. CPS. This weapon launches like a ballistic missile before deploying a hypersonic glide vehicle, which then travels at speeds of Mach 7 to 8 toward its target. The system is a joint project between the Navy and the Army, with each Zumwalt class destroyer expected to house four missile tubes, each capable of holding three missiles, for a total of 12 hypersonic weapons per uh, ship. And the Navy is replacing them with a new launching system for the conventional prompt strike weapon. When it's all said and done, each Zumwalt class destroyer will be able to hold 12 CPS missiles. Zumwalts can also fire munitions like the standard missile and their vertical launchers, but they were really designed to use some really fancy 155 millimeter artillery guns, uh, which you can see here on the deck of the USS Zumwalt. Weapons are missiles that can travel at least five times the speed of sound but they are still maneuverable. And that is an important distinction because traditional ballistic missiles can still travel much faster than the speed of sound. Yes, is one of the hypersonic weapons the US is currently developing. The Navy and Army conducted numerous land-based tests. Now the Navy says it's on track to start testing CPS on Zoom Waltz in either 2027 or 20. As part of this upgrade, the twin 155 mm advanced gun systems have been replaced with launch tubes for the CPS weapon. Each tube, measuring 87 inches, 221 centimeters, accommodates three common hypersonic glide vehicles, which reportedly have a range exceeding 2,775 kilometers. The CPS shares the same design and rocket-boosted launch system as the U.S. Army's Dark Eagle hypersonic weapon differing only in its launch platform. Once the booster propels the glide vehicle to its intended altitude and velocity, it detaches and rapidly descends toward its target at hypersonic speeds. This combination of extreme velocity, range, and maneuverability makes interception nearly impossible, 
even against advanced layered missile defense systems. Hypersonic weapons, which are more maneuverable and designed to avoid interceptors specifically. A conventional prompt strike missile is made up of several different components, but on the business end of the weapon is a hypersonic glide vehicle that will do the maneuvering and actually impact the target. The upgrade is projected to be completed by 2025, with full operational capability across all three Zumwalt-class ships expected by 2028. However, critics argue that the high cost of these weapons raises concerns about their practicality. Some question whether a missile that costs more than a dozen tanks is a worthwhile investment when it results in a single, non-nuclear explosion at a distant location. Defense analyst Loren Thompson notes that while the cost is steep, Hypersonic missiles provide the Navy with the ability to strike targets thousands of kilometers away, far beyond the reach of most enemy weapons, with no effective countermeasures available. The U.S. is expediting hypersonic weapon development due to their critical role in national security. There's a lot of misinformation about hypersonic missiles. From Joe Rogan to Russian sophists who misidentify cluster bombs. So to start, hypersonic missiles anything that travels above five times the speed of sound. Technically, ballistic missiles have been hypersonic for years. They go about Mach 19. But ballistic missiles travel ballistically, meaning they have a predictable path. And if you can predict them, you can shoot them down. Cruise missiles fly an unpredictable path but they're slower, making them easier to shoot down. But hypersonic missiles fly fast and can turn, not on a dime, but enough to make them unpredictable and avoid threats. On the ocean, a hypersonic missile can travel from the horizon to your location in less than 10 seconds. So you don't have a lot of time to make a decision. But they're really expensive. The United States only has a few hypersonic missiles, and they cost between 50 and $100 million a pop. So they might be useful against high value targets such as an enemy aircraft carrier. But until the cost problem can be fixed, all you have is a cruise missile with a conventional warhead that just happens to fly really fast. The Department of Defense sees these technologies as essential for maintaining strategic deterrence and gaining a long-term military advantage. Originally designed to provide land attack capabilities using stealth-mounted 155mm guns and rocket-assisted projectiles, the Zumwalt's artillery system was ultimately abandoned due to the excessive cost of its munitions, each projectile ranging from $800,000 to $1 million. Despite its troubled past, the three Zumwalt-class destroyers remain the most technologically advanced surface warships in the U.S. Navy's fleet.